what it did at liftoff. ULA's high-performance Centaur with its RL-10 engine ignites, powering the upper stage and spacecraft into a circular low Earth orbit. The first burn comes to an end with engine shutdown, followed by Centaur orienting into the proper position to release Amazon's Project Kuiper satellites to build their low Earth orbit satellite broadband network. One forty. Launch enabled. One thirty seven. T minus ninety seconds. The launch vehicle, ground systems, payload, and eastern range are go for launch. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Ben Chilton, joining you for today's live coverage of ULA's Atlas V launch of Amazon's Project Kuiper satellites. At this time, the team is not working any issues, and we're proceeding towards liftoff at 6.54.30 a.m. Eastern. Bed valve's locked. One minute. Rock, report range status. Range green. Forty. Stable at step three. Twenty-eight. Verify ECS reduced for launch. Verified. Twenty. 20. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Kuiper. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper Internet Constellation, continuing a new chapter in low Earth orbit satellite connectivity. We ended our pitch over maneuver. Body rates turn zero. One point five miles in altitude, traveling twelve hundred miles per hour. Mach one, Alice is now supersonic. You are hearing Daniel Brunson providing launch vehicle at air full power. Two miles downrange, six miles in altitude. Hydraulics continue to look good. Body range is expected. Alice continues right down the center of the range track, six miles downrange. Entering our next throttle bucket. Preparation for SRB burnout. At this point in flight, Atlas is now half of its original liftoff weight, and engines continue to look good. And max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And good indication of SRB burnout. Engine response continues to look good. Preparing for SRB jettison. Vehicle throttling back up to full power. And we got good indication of separation of all five SOBs. Hydraulics continue to look good. Body rates looking as expected. Vehicles now approaching 40 miles downrange, 37 miles in altitude. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff, giving the Atlas rocket an extra boost to reach its circular low Earth orbit destination. We're coming up on our next mission event, Jettison of the Payload Fairing. Let's listen in. And two minutes to expected Pico. Engine continues to look healthy. Pico is now 72 miles downrange, traveling at 5,500 miles per hour.
entering our next throttle segment, maintaining a constant 2.5 Gs in preparation for PLF jettison. And we've got activation of the RCS system on the upper stage. Vehicles past the Kármán line, we've exited the Earth's atmosphere. Approaching 7,000 miles an hour, 120 miles downrange. And we've got payload fairing jettison, and good indication of CFLR deck jettison. Engine continues to burn nominally. Sixty seconds to nominal beco. Hydraulics to look good. Flight commentator Daniel Brunson just called out confirmation of payload fairing jettison. The composite fairing protects the spacecraft as it pushes through the harshest parts of Earth's atmosphere. Next, we'll hear callouts for cutoff of the Atlas first stage engine and separation of the booster stage, followed by ignition of ULA's Centaur second stage engine. These events occur when the first stage has escaped Earth's atmosphere, getting above the Kármán line and into space. The Centaur upper stage, with the Kuiper satellites attached, then takes over on a trajectory to a precise location in space. Let's listen in as we approach these milestones. And completion of boost phase chill down. Engine housing comes responding as expected. And Beco booster engine cutoff. Good indication of centaur separation. Got pre start on H2 and O2. And ignition of centaur upstage. This will be a 13 minute, 36 second first burn. We've enabled steering on the upper stage. Centaur PU set to open loop. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes. We just heard flight commentator Daniel Brunson confirm the successful completion of the early milestones in today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The launch team is happy to have another beautiful sunrise launch of the Atlas V here on Florida's Space Coast. As we wrap up today's live coverage, I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to today's flight. I'd also like to remind everyone that for more information about ULA and the Atlas rocket, please visit ulalaunch.com and subscribe to our UA, ULA Launch YouTube channel. And plan to join us for our next launch when ULA's new Vulcan rocket will launch its first mission for the U.S. Space Force. Before we sign off, let's take another look at today's liftoff. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper Internet Constellation, continuing a new chapter in low Earth orbit satellite connectivity. We've ended our pitch over maneuver, body rates turning zero. One point five miles in altitude traveling 1,200 miles per hour.